welcome back to my channel welcome back to part two of the moving vlog I'm just going to show you like the updated bits and bobs um the bed should be coming tomorrow and then the sofa should be coming hopefully this week maybe the start of next week but mum has just come to stop for the night and we're just going to go and watch the barbie film the new one uh, this is my little outfits i got this on boohoo and it was so cheap in the sale it does need an iron it's literally just come in the post but i want to wear it today so oh well but this cute little like denim shirt i have popped on some little shorts underneath because we are going to the cinema so i don't want to be uncomfortable at least i can just sit normally um and then obviously my white sambas are on excuse the situation down there i'm gonna take my little mew mew sunglasses as well and i need to find a bag but yeah that is the plan i've signed up to a gym as well and oh, it's the nicest gym i've ever been to it's got like a proper spa in it so i've been going there every day so i'm going to take mum there tomorrow as well uh, we might go and get some food after the cinema um maybe have a little shop because the cinema we're going to is at like a retail park so i think there's tk max and stuff so i need some blankets because when the surf comes and the bed comes i need blankets over it to make it look nice um but yeah that is the plan and i hope by the end of this video the house is pretty much sorted because I've got all my clothes down here, but I've just had my big Ikea parcel come this morning with more coat hangers because I'd run out of coat hangers. So that's my job for this week as well. Just finish off sorting out this room, then that's pretty much done. I've got an air bed for one to stop on tonight. And then the other bedroom is sorting out because that's all the stuff that needs selling. So I'm going to try and make my vintage account this week as well and get posting on there. I'll let you know what I think of the Barbie film after we've watched that, see whether it's worth the hype or not because I've seen like quite a few mixed reviews, it's either like been the best film ever and they've loved it and cried or it's like what the hell is this, uh, we shall see. I've got to watch Barbie, <laughs> it's potentially the worst waste of two hours I've ever spent watching a film. It's bonkers. Um, I didn't know what to expect but it was very much ridiculous. <laughs> I could have left after the first five minutes. Yeah, we kept saying, should we just go? Should we just go? But we wanted to wait and see whether it turned itself around and the ending were actually good, but it weren't. Were it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said see if the ending were good. Oh, and it were not it was. No. Um, but yeah, I probably won't waste your time. I wouldn't even say it's for children either. No. I don't know what, who the target audience was, but definitely <laughs> didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it Look at these <laughs> pieces. Well, we had to laugh. Yeah, we just kept looking at each other and thinking, oh, it's not even fin we kept thinking it's gonna finish soon, it's gonna finish soon. It was just like weird, weren't it? Like it was I don't I can't explain it. But yeah, weren't my cup of tea. <laughs> I'm just making a paella. Do we want to see? Um first time making it, so hopefully it tastes nice, but it's just cooking the rice now. But yeah, gonna eat this and it's quite late, so oh shall I show you what I bought? I actually We've got space down inside the fridge. So I got these two bathroom rack things. Ignore the oven tray there. But I just thought it's hidden like in the day because the door closes it. So I just thought I can put my tins and stuff there so I've got more cupboard space. And then I got this cute little box for on top of the fridge. Um, and I also bought three blankets, two for the settee and one for the bed. So hopefully when everything's made up in this video, I can show you when it's all done my finished result it looks awful on camera this is also better not particularly <laughs> hello we've got some house updates the bed arrived me and liam built it the other night and it is the most comfortable thing in the whole world obviously we had to order the mattress as quick as possible so i found a website online it was called like mattress next day delivery or something um which is risky because i know you should go out and test them and see whether you find it comfortable or not but we didn't have the time for that so i just did a random pick and chose one off the website and the mattress and the bed together with the bedding we've got two mattress toppers on so it is like sleeping on a cloud it is so so nice um so i'll show you that in a second but my dressing room is finally finished so i thought i'd just show you around this one first now it's not an aesthetic beautifully presented wardrobe because i've got too many clothes i can't make it look nice i've had to shove stuff in wherever it'll fit but it does the job this is the most wardrobe space i've had i can finally see all my clothes laid out so i can pick whatever i want i don't have to wear the same tracksuit every day because i can't find anything so this is what we're working with this is obviously my blazer section which you've seen before in here we've just got pants socks 
I've managed to squeeze my toiletries in there as well. Um, Pajamas in there, gym stuff in here, which is ridiculous. I need to organise that again, but I don't want to get rid of anything because it's all fine. And then this bottom bit, I've just got normal trousers, sh like a few pairs of shorts and my hair stuff in there. Over here, we've got, I've had to hang my joggers up because that drawer wouldn't open. So joggers, jeans and denim shorts and skirts. And then this is just random little tops um, and like a few shirts and stuff. Bottom, we've got my shoes that I pretty much wear mo like the most, so I can easily grab them. Heels are all in that basket. Up here, we've got fleeces, jumpers, zip ups, and just a few like leather jackets, denim jackets in there. This section is my coats. I'm so glad I've had somewhere to hide my coats up because they take up the most room. And again, I can't get rid of any of them because I wear them all. But it's like when I'm going to football and stuff in winter, you just wear the same outfit underneath, don't you? But you chuck a new coat on and it looks like you've got a different outfit on. Um, so yeah, my trench, my big teddy coats, puffer coats. I've got my Primark scarves hung up, my Zara coat, my gilet. And then just at the end, I've just got like unitard jumpsuit and like just a long dress. And then up the top, I've managed to put my summer stuff up there so I can keep it there. Bikinis are up there as well and just random stuff. Just my main dog walking coat on the back of the door, my gym bag and my dressing gowns. And then my telephone bag there. Um, that is just my filming stuff. I'm going to find a spot for that. I've made a little perfume thing on my windowsill so I can easily grab that. And then this is just my little jewellery on there. I need to find a spot and a lamp for this because I bought this when I were in Glasgow again but I thought this is going to be the room where the air bed goes you know when people come and stay so I thought if I keep a lamp in there I can just plug it in and it'll be cute down there this is a haul I'm going to show you in a second I've got this little poofy thing from Home Bargains which I got like two years ago now maybe because we nearly bought the house in Glasgow so we started buying bits of furniture for that and obviously we never use it so it's all been in storage until it's worked out perfectly because I've got loads of like interior bits that I don't need to buy anymore now. So that looks perfect there. And then we've got my big mirror which I've had for years as well. This is from Lena Mirrors. Um, and a little poofy thing, I just think that looks cute. It's my little TikTok filming corner. And then obviously I've, if I stand my tripod up around there, I've got all this blank space to fill my holes. So I'm just going to leave that empty. I don't really need anything in here. I can do my makeup sat down there. It's perfect. I'm obsessed with this. Right. Just got the bathroom in there. Liam's gaming room is like there. But that's not sorted yet. It's just got bags of vintage stuff I need to sell. So if we go upstairs, we have another wardrobe there. That's Liam's. And this is our bedroom. It's got these stunning skylights, which when it rains in here is the most coziest thing in the world. But... This is my bed. Excuse this blanket. I did buy a nude one and it weren't the right colour. So I've just put this on from downstairs, but I think I'm going to get like a nice big black one because that just makes it look a bit cheap at the minute. Um, but this is my stunning bed. It's from Dusk. It does look a bit grey on camera, but it's like beige in real life. Um, and then I got this bed in again, just as a last minute thing. I think it's from Home Bargains maybe, something like that. But it's actually really nice quality. Um, and then we bought one of these little dongle things, is that what they're called? Because we've got no Wi-Fi until Monday. This has sorted us out for the past two weeks. And then these are the lamps I bought a few years ago as well from Primark. I swear they were like £20 each or something. They're the most stunning lamps ever. So we've got one of those on each side. And then again, I'm just keeping this room plain. I've ordered two bedside tables. Don't know what they're going to be like, but it's free return. So if I don't like them, I can send them back. And then obviously put my little lamps on. And yeah, we've got a little thing over here, which I think we're either going to stand the TV there, keep it there, or you can, there's like an aerial on the wall there, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that because we've just had more hassle when we move. But I need to buy a nice basket to put like these bits on make this area look a bit nicer but then that's pretty much done in here i'm not going to do anything to it i just want it to like if there's a mess anywhere in the house we can come up here go to sleep and we know it's going to be tidy because we literally can't make any mess in here because there's nothing to make a mess with hello excuse the state of me i've just got back from the gym we've got wi-fi it got activated today or something and it weren't working i thought oh no because we've waited two weeks for this 
And then we've been on the phone for over an hour with Liam has, and he's managed to sort out all the wires. The engineer on the phone to him like, do this, do this, do this. And he's managed to figure it out and we've got Wi-Fi. It's like the best day ever. But my little bedside tables have just come. They were from Asda, 35 pound I think each, which what a bargain, but I think they're too small. They're so nice. Like, can you see the vibe that I was going for? But it's just too small, isn't it? Hello, how are we? I didn't have time to show you the haul that I mentioned in the last bit of the video, so I thought I'd insert that now. Also, I've got my nails done, I've got my hair done. I have been running around cleaning all morning, which is why it looks like this, but the colour is so much more natural. Can we see? My roots are now blended in and it's not gonna need as much maintenance as my other one required. Also popped on a fresh layer of tan last night, so I'm feeling good. So I've got a little haul. This is from a brand called Weehol. W-I-H-O-L-L. -L. It's like an overseas one, but I'm always wary before I order or accept like a collab with any brands like that. I make sure you don't have to pay customs and taxes because I would not order something if it meant I get like an unexpected surprise when it's been delivered. But on their website it says taxes are like included in the price. So you've got no unexpected costs when it gets delivered, which is perfect. So I'm just going to run through and show you everything this sent because I've got quite a few bits, but they're actually really nice. I've also got a discount code as well, which is just LA and that gives you 18% off the website. Um, we've got a long black satin maxi skirt. I don't own one of these. But I thought I saw on Pinterest this with like a white t-shirt tucked in, some sandals, and it looks really nice. Good transitional piece as well. I'm sure you could dress this up. I've seen people on Instagram wear this with like knits and stuff. I'm not sure if that I'd, I'd be able to pull that off, but that's cute. I tried this on the other day. So nice. So it's just like a basic denim dress. It's got like the booby cup detailing. The quality of this is so, so nice. Um, and then it's like a mini dress. And it also comes with this denim like rose with the, um, what are they? Pins on the back, which you attach to the dress. Obviously you can put it wherever you want, but on the website, they've got it like in between there, like that. You could also just attach this to any different top. You could get like a necklace, you know, like a choker and wear that with a denim dress. So it's got these little shorts, um, matching bra and matching green oversized shirt. One shoulder and it's like a little gradient dress. So it goes from green into like this baby pastel pink. And then the back just has like the crossover detail like that. So nice, perfect for wedding season if that's still, is that still going on? Yeah, people get ready all, wedding all summer, don't they? This is my favorite, I think. Blue stripy shirt. And it has the matching shorts as well. Again, this, just over an outfit like this is cute. Add on the shorts, little white t-shirt. You've got yourself a cute summer outfit. You could also wear this on holiday over a bikini again. Yes. I'm probably better off showing you a picture of this. I got a picture. Um, but it's basically a dress, which this ties around your neck like this. And then that comes like down there. And then you pop on this blue bandeau around your boobs. So it's like a little cut out dress. Let me show you a picture. Look, this is the dress, how stunning. And it actually looks really nice as well. And the material of this, it is a little bit darker, I would say, than the picture online, would you agree? Um, but either way, like the quality of this knit is really, really thick. I will leave the link for this website in the description box. But I sent back the bedside tables because they were too small, but I kept one actually. Let me quickly show you. I kept just one because it works perfectly downstairs at like the entrance to put the wi-fi box on just put the wi-fi box on it and this little candle is one of the ones that i got from primark ages ago what this little let me move this cute it's now sunday and last night 
Liam booked us a meal for today and he told me this morning, so got ready. This is my little outfit. We're going out for a little Sunday dinner, our favourite restaurant. I've got this top on, which is from Fourth and Reckless. I've never bought from there before, apart from like the other few bits I got the other day, and it's actually really nice. Um, my Zara leather cargoes and my black sanders, my little Jacquemus bag. But yeah, this is a little outfit. Um, house update so if that's what you've come for this vlog for have been horrendous the um sofa was meant to come like two weeks ago now um and it's apparently getting delivered to the warehouse tomorrow so it should be delivered early next week hopefully so i can show you that i've got some bedside tables upstairs uh, which i'll show you when i get back because we need to hurry up we're probably going to be a bit late um but yeah, so hopefully the sofa comes in the next few days. I can vlog that for you and get this video up because I feel like I've been vlogging it for ages. Party in but oh my god, I got cheese and the empire, and Liam's got beef. Such a nice restaurant. Somebody singing as well in that corner. Look at this ticket of it, Oh my god, this plate as well. I want one of these plates. That is so nice. Just show you the little bedside tables. So obviously this lamp is just the Primark one that I bought few years ago for the other house that we were going to get um, and these are the little bedside tables they're literally from Dunelm I think they were like £36 each which when I saw them obviously they don't 100% match everything but I don't care we just needed somewhere to put the lamps put our phone on when we go to sleep and our water um, and they're perfect to be honest I've changed the bedding as well because I bought this one from Ikea it's literally just like a plain minimalist it's really comfy as well and then this blanket is from tk maxx do i get something black to tie in with the tables because obviously i need some cushions and stuff but then like i feel like there's a lot going on it's not really <laughs> it don't really match does it maybe some cushions maybe some to match the headboard maybe i need a blanket to match the headboard because this is not permanent it's just to make it look cozy but we get the vibe I feel like it's cute. I just had a genius idea. I've just FaceTimed mum to show her everything. And I said, the tables don't really match because they're a bit dark. And she said, why don't you paint them? But then it made me think, I wonder if I could sand them or something to make them a bit lighter. I don't mind the black. But maybe if I made this a bit lighter, it'd match a bit better. Hello, this is a very awkward angle, but I've got a few little home parcels to show you. The sofa. I got an email today, please book your delivery slot. So it's hopefully coming on Sunday, fingers crossed, because I was gonna do an angry phone call today if I didn't hear anything, um, because it is about four weeks late. But as long as it comes on Sunday, I'll be happy. But um, I've just been to Trafford Centre as well. Literally didn't find anything. I was gonna vlog, like going around the shops and stuff, but it was so busy. And I bought Liam some shoes, so I had my arms full, my shoulders were hurting. So I thought we'll sack that off. Just got back put my pajamas on because it's freezing um but yeah let me show you what i've got uh, i did an order on dusk because that's where my bed's from so i've gone for two different blankets it's the same style but i went for two different colors because i thought this one will probably match the bed frame i went for light gray i've also emailed dusk because i feel like they must have sent me the wrong bed i didn't realize they did that bed in gray and when you look at it, it does look quite grey and I ordered a, like a beige one. So I've emailed them and they've asked me to send a picture of the box. Well, I guess I don't have the box anymore, do I? Because I've built it. Um, so I've sent them pictures of the bed. But anyway, I ordered a light grey blanket because I thought, I feel that'll match perfectly. It's really nice and thick. Oh, someone at the door. I we're all quit. Someone just knocked on the wrong door. But they're going to the place where I've just taken a parcel in because I don't know any of the neighbours yet. But I always take everyone's parcels and if they're not hurt them. Um, so I just thought, oh, we can take that to them if you go in there. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. They were reduced as well. They should have been £25. I think they were £20 each. Um, but I feel like this is going to, you see, it's got like little, what is it called? Just in case anyone cares. Mohair throw. Uh, 150 centimetres by 200 centimetres. So it's a decent size. Liam is just having a nap upstairs. So I'll try this on probably tomorrow or later on, if I remember. So I'm thinking this, I'm gonna keep the Ikea bedding that I've got on at the minute. I need to wash it actually so it's nice and fresh. Um, because I feel like that looks better than the black and white one from Home Bargains, but I can always just switch and swap when I wash the other. Um, but I feel like that 
this blanket and then all I need is like a few big chunky cushions that I can chop so they look all nice and professional uh, but I feel like this will make it tie a bit more together and then I think I'm gonna try and mum said I can chalk paint the bedside tables you know like a lighter colour I might even do like a white or maybe just a, a lighter wood colour and then I also got this colour because I thought I've got some blankets to put on the setting for decoration um but I wanted we've not really got like a nice blanket you know when we're laid on it at night to actually use <laughs> as soon as you can't touch oh I've got the same blanket in this colour because I feel like this will just match anywhere won't it it's like a nice beigey colour and even if it don't match the settee, I can just hide it and we'll just use it for warmth. These for the settee. So it's like, if you can remember, you should see it in this vlog. Hopefully it'll be in this next section. Um, and then I can finally upload this video. But I've got the settees like a nude beigey colour, hopefully. Probably come and it'll be like grey as well, like everything else seems to be. Because we've got a black kitchen and the floors are like dark... We've got barcels which are black. I thought if I tap, obviously the big curtains are black as well. If I get some black um, pillows and a blanket, it'll tie it all in together, I think. So I've got these like boucle. Can we see? I've got two of them. These are from Debenhams. I think this is all from Debenhams actually. And then I've got the matching black boucle blanket as well. What size is this? just that is what it says if anyone cares um let's see what's 180 by 200 so that's even bigger than the dusk ones but i thought this just like draping down and then the two cushions i got this rug from tesco because because the floor is like tiles the whole way through Ace has no nowhere to like sleep apart from his bed, and he likes he like when he were at mum and dad's house, he loved laying on the rug. Um, he's just got a blanket down on the floor at minute, but I got this like can we see like a beigey rug, and I thought hopefully it's like this size because the sofa is like an L shape. I thought if I pop this, you know where it sticks out a bit just underneath the bottom. And then he's got somewhere warmer to lay on because in winter I bet this floor is going to be really cold. Just pop the blanket on. It's literally the perfect colour match. So I just need some sort of pillows. I don't think I want grey because maybe that's going to be too grey. But mate, we just need to find some pillows. Have a seti. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is actually perfect. And as well, it's just come just now literally. Still got the tags on. The colour is perfect. It's actually like a really nice beige colour. Let me just take it outside to show you in case anyone wants it. This is the colour Stone Alone, it's called. Can we see? It's really nice. It's actually really nice quality as well. The cushions are perfect. I wish they sold these cushions because I'd like some of them for the bed. Um, but yeah, let me have a zoom out. It's literally perfect for the size as well. I thought it was going to come a bit further out, which I'm glad it doesn't because the walkway is massive. And I could maybe get something to put there, but we've still got plenty of space for the bar stools to come out. Oh, I love it. The rug is down, the pillows and the blankets are on, and it literally looks perfect. I love it so much. And how perfect is that dusk blanket for the colour match? But yeah, I just need this to hopefully get the creases out. I'm sure it'll be fine once it's been down for a little bit because it's been rolled up for a while, but I'm very happy. I'm going to end this vlog here because we finally got the sofa that we were waiting for. Um, I have got still got like a few bits and bobs that I need to do, but I can just show you that in like my normal vlogs. So keep an eye out for those. We still need to DIY the bedside tables as well and like style the bed a bit better. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.